up everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel how are you doing today i hope y'all having a great day a great week a great month i'm having all that thank you for asking all right y'all today is monday so you know what that is it's wits guys for the new week if you are new to the channel and you don't know what wits guys for the new week is it's just where i do weekly inspiration to help us get through the day the week the month all that because in this lifetime it's crazy <laughs> i know we can all attest to that it's crazy so I wanted to create this so that we can have weekly inspiration to kind of get through the week. In the tradition of Wits Guys for the new week, I found something, a few things online that I wanted to discuss. And then we're going to get into the guidelines and then we're going to do our prayer and then it's the end of the video. Make sure you check out Wits Guys Line for the new week's playlist. I have all the videos already on the playlist so that you can catch up and you can know how we do things. All right, y'all. Let's get started. So the first one says, if you aren't doing what you love. You are insulting your soul. You are living a lie. It's time to start nurturing those passions. The time has come to listen to what's really going inside. The more we step into alignment with our heart's desires, the more pleasurable life will become and the more fulfilled we will feel. Y'all, that is a word. Like, I totally stand by that. Do what you love. Um, for the longest, I didn't even know what that was. I didn't know what I loved. I didn't know what I would enjoy doing. I just was kind of trying to find something just to say I have something, you know. And I have definitely realized that that is not the case. And do not do that because you're not going to be happy in the end. Uh, but, yes, always. I feel, I, I feel like a lot of people hold back on their dreams for so many reasons. There's so many possible outcomes that can happen. And then at the end of the day, you're just chasing in a dream but everybody has a dream everybody has to start somewhere everybody has to you know you're not gonna just wake up and get to be where you want to be in life but I definitely think that we should work toward getting to be getting to that uh to do what we want to do because everybody should enjoy what they do everybody should have a passion everybody should get to enjoy what they do everybody should love going into work um and if you're not going into work everybody should love running their own company if that's what they want to do i mean you just should genuinely love what you want to do because i really stand by if you do if you if you love what you do you don't work a day in your life you know if you enjoy getting up to go to work if you enjoy getting up to go run your business if you enjoy whatever it is that you're doing you're gonna get up happy you're gonna be well I mean we're all gonna be tired but you're gonna get up and you're gonna be like okay I'm going somewhere that I love I'm gonna have a great day that's that so I definitely feel like you owe it to yourself to find your passion take that passion and make it happen number two the next one says be addicted to your passion instead of your distraction now I feel like a lot of times distraction is the biggest you know negative factor in you not doing what you love to do um distractions can be school distractions uh you know from the stress from it and things like that some people are just aren't cut out for some people are distractions could be the part uh, your partner sometimes the wrong partner can affect you in finding your passion and finding something that you love to do and really making them those dreams happen uh family uh fear like it's so many distractions that i could think of but you cannot let that get in the way of what you want to do in life and how successful you want to be in life and just the person you want to be in life. You know, you know what I'm saying? You want to make sure that you're happy in everything that you do. Every decision that you make, every, you know, road you go choose to go down, you have to make sure that number one, you're going to be happy. Despite whatever anybody else got going on, you're going to be happy. The next one is make your parents proud, enemies jealous, and yourself happy. I can't say it enough. You have to make sure you are good first. Make your parents proud. Make your enemies jealous. Make your enemies, it don't even matter about your enemies. We're not even worried about the people. Make yourself happy ultimately. And the last one, stay positive, be happy, live free. The reason I stress happiness and positivity around so much is because I just know what the other side is like. I know what negativity is like coming from the source and coming from other people. I, you know, it's just, and we've all experienced it at some point of our life. And I just, life is just a ton better when you are happy, when you are positive. You know, sometimes we have to, you know, sometimes we have, we may have negative thoughts. Sometimes we may go through negative things, but ultimately you need to be happy and you need to be positive because it's the only way that we can all flourish and just prosper the way that we know that we want to prosper and that we know it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my channel that's what my channel is about self-love and happiness self-love self-happiness self-care 
it all starts with self. It doesn't start with male. It doesn't start with nothing else but self. You can't you can't rely on money. You can't rely on a man. You can't rely on a woman. You can't rely on your family. It is self. Self care. Self love. Self happiness. We got to get to it honestly. So those are the things that I found online that I wanted to share and kind of elaborate on. It pertains to everything that I talk about. It pertains to this channel. And it just, I feel like, you know, everyone needs to hear it. Everyone needs to see it. Um, as far as my guidelines for this week, I have one guideline. And that is just to do something positive for someone. Whether that is uh, getting them some coffee. Whether that is bringing them of the remote if they ask for it um do something positive for someone and watch positivity come back to you so i just want to uh, thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you can know when future videos are coming and we're going to end this with a prayer and we're going to be done by your heads Dear Lord, we come to you today thanking you for everything you're doing in our lives, Lord. Thank you for waking us up each and every morning to see a great day that you have made, Lord. Know that we are truly, truly glad to be in it. Lord, we just ask you to continue to bless us through this new week. Bless us to prosper. Bless us to be um, positive. Bless us to block out the negativity. Bless us and every bless me and everyone watching this video, Lord, in a special way. Lord, if anybody's praying for my downfall or if anybody's praying for anybody's downfall that's watching this video, we pray against it, Lord. And all these things we ask and say in your wonderful name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, y'all, that is the end of this video. I will see y'all next time. Make sure you check out that playlist of the other Wits Guys for the new week in case you have missed it. And y'all go be great and have a great day. Bye. Bye.